because I'll get up. Oh, okay. He's injured. The proof of the injury for the workman's comp. Um. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Euphrates. The great Euphrates and this is the greater Frank. The greater Frank. <laughs> How you guys doing? It is a beautiful day in November. Um, we are just living our best lives. I got a little bit of a cane. You do. A I do. Cane. A candy cane. A candy cane. We're getting to that time. Yeah. You know what? Ever since I started working at schools, I feel like uh, it's nice. You know what? I love it. Nothing to do with the work. Hmm. I just I, I loved the routine of a school schedule oh, so yeah, much yeah and the ways the week pass the ways that the holidays pass I just feel like it's it's a it's a realm of itself yeah like it's a holiday after our next one because one of my my issues with the adult world was growing up no mm-hmm. was the was like you know when people say like oh I don't even know what year it is anymore yeah or like oh wow it's right. it's Christmas already mm-hmm. it's especially in early education it's like you everyone knows because they remember it's on to the next one you're build up to halloween right the build up to little thanksgiving break the bi- and so like yeah it's flying but at the same time you're like enjoying everything yeah again so we're on our way to thanksgiving That's good. it's really living in the present yeah it's a and the present is a present mm-hmm. um i hurt my knee yep should we talk about that your high knee or your low knee i hurt my high knee uh should we talk about that sure my my injury so uh over the weekend all you philadelphia fans so it's been i think it actually was the first time in history that two teams of the same city lost a championship like two major sports teams okay lost a championship in the same city in the same day the philadelphia union and the um philadelphia phillies both lost their championship Mm -hmm. game goodbye I went out to watch both of them. Mm-hmm. I went to watch the Union game, which I'm not the biggest soccer fan. I don't think anyone is. Now they have some they have some diehard fans. American, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Ameri- Amer- Amer- MLS. But um, let me tell you, if I had to go anywhere to watch someone lose, it was a great experience. You didn't go to California. I did not. I went to the Union Stadium, Subaru Park, mm-hmm. and so it is the stadium in Chester, Pennsylvania, that they play in. And they had a watch party. It was free to get in mm-hmm. because, you know, it's not like uh, another bigger sport where they don't have enough room. Right. Uh, you can buy tickets. Yeah. So brought lawn chairs and we're sitting on the actual turf watching on the Jumbotron. Of, and it was it was awesome. The environment, everyone there was all amped up. Great game. We had great seats. We were sitting right up front at the 18 for you soccer fans. Mm-hmm. And we were looking like we were going to win. And I told my compadre, a friend of the show, Sierra, I said, if we win, I'm going to slide to the corner. You know how the soccer guys slide? CR7. CR7. Yeah. I, I was like, well, no, he does that jump. No, he... He, he does it all. He slides. He does it all. Um, And I'm like, what a bucket list experience to not just slide on grass, but to slide on a professional soccer. It's like spiking a football mm-hmm. in an end zone yeah it's yeah you, you don't get the chance to do that right obviously you weren't supposed to but um and so we w- scored a goal that should have should have sealed the deal it was like uh you know 90th minute yeah uh, it wasn't exactly the 90th minute but you get the idea and the the crowd jumps over the small little barrier we're all jumping in joy you can probably see me here and i come to, run back to the camera and i slide yeah as soon as I get up, the adrenaline's pumping. I'm feeling good. But I'm like, that doesn't feel right. Oh, that's terrible. You're making me freak out. It, luckily, it wasn't any, it went, no popping, no mm. no breaking. It, yeah. it was just a ouchie. Kind of like, um, yeah, if you stretch, if you like get a Charlie horse or something. And so I go and sit down like, well, we got it. We had our fun. Um, and then went to watch the Phillies game. Well, I'll watch the Phillies game. I'm like, oh, oh come hurts. on. It hurt more and more. I went to the doctor the next day. Nothing too serious. I sprained my MCL. So long story short. MLS, MLB, MBL, MLB. NLCS. MSL. Yes. Um, And MSNBC. Come on. And uh, so a little bit of an ouchie. I learned that I am not in the same conditioning (laughs) that professional athletes are. 
Yeah. Well, also, I, I I sort of see it differently now. I'm like, I tell these athletes, I'm like, maybe don't slide so much. You also had a previous snowboarding injury. I did. I was snowboarding the same knee. And spun, my body was spinning, but the board wasn't. Oh, you're killing um, me. Yeah, I'm not really doing any favors to my knees. So take care of your knees. I do love this cane. And your nephews. <laughs> so I've been I've been sort of limping around all week, but um, it's all fine. The, the, the limping is more of using the knee less no than yeah it, it, it'll it, they do repair themselves yeah so it's like i i'm i'm not injured to the point of no avail i am walking tenderly as to expedite the that could be the name recovery. of your of your autobiography spencer cartier walking tenderly walking tenderly i like that yeah walking tenderly with jesus <laughs> jesus <laughs> jesus the, the, the eyes of of the world have been on pennsylvania they have. Since last week. It, it's been everything. It's been sports. We did. Eagles. We did. Phillies. Phillies. We did. We did. Union. Union. We did Fetterman and uh, Fetterman and Dr. Shapiro Oz. At, and, uh, and Dr. Oz. Oz. And, um, How dare you put and, his name in there? Yeah. And uh, obviously we had the political races. Um, you know, Tuesday. We had election. Uh, we had. Um, was that the same day as the lunar eclipse? So it's, oh, everything's the just moon. been. Crazy. Congrats to the to the uh, the everyone mm-hmm. running in these political races. Y'all mm-hmm. put up a good fight. Mm-hmm. Some of them put up a better fight, but hey, we're unbiased here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's it's been it's a it's been a you know what I think this year has really been living up to the um the show title of it's always sunny in Philadelphia. It's also been seventy degrees. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The, you know, this might be the new land of milk and honey. I saw this um truck dr- drove past, and it's um it's for some. I think it's alcohol, and it was a truck, and it had the slow, it had like the picture slogan thing on the side, and it said it's always pouring in Philadelphia. Oh, it was just so one tap. clever. That is because you're pouring. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it was a bottle. Yeah, but. interesting. But yeah, so it's been it's been pretty uh, a hectic week, but all in all, it's been good. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone's been happy, happy, healthy, homely. How about you? Is there anything anything new with you? I I live for the moment. Yeah. Don't know what happened yes like a few minutes ago. Oh, like like, like Dor- what happened to your leg? Yeah. No, you're like uh, Dory from Finding Nemo yeah, live in the moment. Right. It's, yeah. Oh, okay. That's like only like, people always say live in the present. Yeah. But do they really mean it? Like <laughs> if they truly meant live in the exact present, it would be kind of a yeah. hectic life. And that's how I that's how I uh, do it. So no, I don't remember uh, don't what tra- we just say? <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Sweet. Um, so yeah, it, it's been good, but um, we love you, and we just want to tell you that. And no matter what happens to Philadelphia sports, and how many knees get broken, we'll be here <laughs> for you. We st- we still have the Eagles. We still have the Eagles. They are they're eight and zero, and um, eight and zero. Don't run over that. Hey, you know, for the first we played eight times and we won eight times. Yeah, for the first time in franchise history, we're eight. You know, um, it's uh, it's electric and it's electric. <laughs> but boogie woogie. It's nice, you know. It, it's it's uh, it's good. I I think earlier we talked about sport. <laughs> it's funny. I'm going to compare this to a podcast from many moons ago, many blood moons ago. But it's funny that I'm switching my stance because the Eagles are doing so well. Uh-huh. Where before I was like, is it good to get so worked up in, right. in random things they have nothing to do with? And now I'm going to change my stance because we're doing so well. Yes, it is good. It, yeah. Well, um, you know, the political and the sports that we just went through the past couple of days. Uh, you know, the when we were waiting for the r- results to come in on Tuesday night, it, I really felt to me like a, like a sports game. Yeah. Some of the races were very close. And, um, you know, you're just like, it's, it's when they're very, very close that it's no matter if you're a sports fan, if you're a political watcher, if you're, you know, you get so caught up in the, what will the outcome be? You yeah. know, you get so excited and, and it brings your blood up like a yeah, ice bath. No, and so I think I want to compare it to, um, the union game that I went to because the, the friends I went to were much bigger fans than I was of the sport. And it was, they were so excited about being on the turf, watching it and like, then we lost and, and there was this disappointment and I like was like, I you know had to be like, hey guys, like look at where we're at. Like, could there be a worse place or a, could there be a better place to lose in? Like the, this entire, the past two hours we've been here have been such an electric time. And I think just that in general is like when you have something as simple as sports, it's like, 
it's not about the sports. It's just sort of like a idea of this camaraderie of like yeah. this this fun with people. Like and, like when you go to a wedding, you know, like you have such a good time. Everyone has a good time. And like yeah. you don't get bummed out thinking that these two people are now, you know, just like gonna just hate each other. Yeah, like they're just like prisoner to each other yeah, for the rest two of, out of their three life. Relationships and divorce. yeah, like how soon will they fight once yeah. they leave the venue? We had a good time. Yeah. We were dancing. We were eating. You know. Yeah, and 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 also, I mean, there's the idea of when sports teams do bad it's like why do i follow this sport and it's like could you it's like being down in anything you know you can't have highs without lows right. the reason why the last eagle super bowl is so electric is because we haven't won in 52 years but everyone's been there together every yeah. year and like the it makes the celebration that much better so go sports it's better brother it's better brother all right guys let's cut to the chase let's chase to the cut Oh, let's chase the cut. That could be another show, like about cutting Oh, maybe things. maybe some kind of video, uh, like film. Oh, let's mm-hmm. cha- yeah, like because I can imagine it gets pretty hectic. Like mm-hmm. we think movies take a long time to come out. Right, once but I, I yeah. hear things are pretty hectic in the editing room. Yeah, of like quick, put this together. Let's chase to the cut. It is Thursday, and on Thursday we have a little special thing called Walk Through Thursday. If you want to learn more about it, then stick around till after this uh, intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz Walk Through Wednesday just begun. What is going on, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday, and we're going to chase to the cut. On Walk Through Thursday, we open up the Bible. Yes, this is a religious podcast, despite how much we love talking about sports. Mm-hmm. And weather. Once the Bible's open, once the Bible's open, we pick a verse. We pick a verse out of the many books, and we talk about that singular verse, which kind of is a juxtaposition to our normal show program, which is talking about the overarching themes of the Bible Mm -hmm. and like how can we live an entire book in everyday actions. Yeah. Because that's what we think. We think all the Bible is made to be used together as one. It doesn't take away from the fact that each word is powerful. And so we put one verse on a little pedestal today. And we walk through it. We, we slow down through it. We go through it sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word. And we just squeeze the juice. You know, an orange, you can yeah. eat. We, an orange is great. You squeeze that juice out. And it's like, mmm. So have a cup of Bible juice. So have a cup of Bible us. juice. Why not? Um, so today we are reading out of the very just special book of... Nothing's... Uh, just just read you this. didn't give me any kind of labeling and I, I, I just give it back when you're done because it's really not what it's not it's not um standard operating procedure you're really selling it here i right, read another book of two chronicles old old testament yeah of course um the second one not the first chronicles some this people is, confuse it with one and two corinthians well you know they both start with c <laughs> and and with numbers s yeah um all right we're reading two chronicles 31 10 uh it's also world freedom day no that was yesterday that was yesterday okay <laughs> two chronicles thirty-one ten. azariah the chief priest from the family of zadok answered since the people began to bring their con- contributions to the temple of the lord we have had enough to eat and plenty to spare because the lord has blessed his people and this great amount is left over okay okay yeah. Do we need backstory or are we just... I don't have a backstory. We don't need it. Okay. Well, I, I need to read that. that way. Yes, I know. I just was... Um... <laughs> so we didn't have a paper to print out too. No, um, we don't. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about this one. You just you, you keep your eyes on the prize with that one. Eyes on the prize. All yeah. right. Uh, since the people began to bring their contributions to the temple of the Lord, we have enough plenty to spare. All right. So... Um, we got Azariah, who's the chief priest. He's from the family of Zadok. And he answered, Since the people began to bring their contributions to the temple of the Lord, we've had enough to eat and plenty to spare, because the Lord has blessed his people, and this great amount is left over. Yeah. Um, just the word spare comes out at me. Yeah. Um, and uh, Cup runneth over. You see a lot of, of this, these these terms in the Bible of just a an over... like. A, you 
tenfold you'll right. hear and, and it's just this right this abundance that's the word i want yeah, to use abundance so and, and, and you know um spare is a funny word and uh a lot of the bible when you start, you're saying spare you're saying like spare my life yeah you know spare the people um and this is not that kind of spare no this, it's also not you know, a bowling term where you hit all the pins in two goes it's also not the name of harry um harry prince of william it's, Harry Prince of England's new book. It's also not the tire you have in your trunk. <laughs> okay. So um, spare food. You would think like, how could food, how could you have spare food? But uh, I, everyone knows how you could have plenty to spare. Someone comes over and it's like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to. Um, I don't know. It's, I thought, I thought like it was a priest. He must know the whole entire congregation. I mean, that's a lot of food then if there was spare. Yeah. So I, um. I think of it like this, right? Like, I think it's nice, right? So, this is what I'm imagining. I'm imagining they're all bringing their their food to the temple. Think of it as a uh, potluck. Okay. It's a potluck to the temple. You all you bring your contributions. I want to bring food to to bring to this temple feast. Okay. To, to show like the Lord. Here's here's the. Oh, bre- I see. So this was the offerings. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's quite offerings. Though. Okay. Like I think it's it's kind of offerings, but it's not. Maybe think of more. Of a, I don't. I'm, I'm trying to like offering sounds like you're burnt offerings. Where yeah, you're, the food's not getting eaten. Okay. I think like this the is, Dia de los more like, hey, like bring your contributions to to uh, a festival at, at, the, right. at the temple right. to show okay. our love for God. Okay. And so I have I have this loaf of bread. Very communal. Yeah. Everything. Everyone's bringing what they have. But then. But the Lord has blessed his peoples and there's a great amount is left over. It's everyone had a lot to bring. And so it's like, look how much food we all have. Like, oh. you, you know, to you all, oh, well, this is my last coin. And everyone's bringing the money they have. And then everyone's blessed. Everyone's rich. Right. Because it's like they all came to one place and they were all blessed before, like, because each one of them were doing the right thing. Nobody was yeah. being greedy. Nobody, right. And so it ends up this yeah. like distribution. So it's like of, joy on joy because you come and you're like, you're happy to, that you have something to bring. And then they're, the, the church is happy that you brought it. And so that's a blessing in itself. This is, you know, but the, and then the, when you look around and you see that everyone's been blessed, it's just like blessings on blessings on blessings. And you just feel more and more, um, full of joy because you know of this yes and but also it's not just like you're looking around it's you're enjoying it i think we can compare this entire bible verse and the rest of our talk to a potluck right what is a potluck can you tell our audience potluck is when you come together for um like a, a, a celebratory feast with a bunch of people but instead of one person catering it each person brings a dish, and therefore you end up with a fully catered affair. Where and what's like the, what's the joyousness about that? That you have variety. You you get an entire Thanksgiving dinner when all you for had the cost was, of one when all you had was deviled eggs. Okay. And and I think this is sort of that idea. It, well, Thanksgiving's like, coming up. Yeah, th- thanks. This is kind of like this like idea of a Thanksgiving. It's like you're all bringing. It's all like a potluck. Like I have this to offer. I have this to offer. And what is great about it is. Yeah, you had your food, and you're not given. You, you have your devil, deviled, deviled eggs, but you're not sitting at home on December, or November twenty fourth eating your deviled eggs. It's kind of sad. It's like, right. yeah, you, you'll you'll have enough food for yourself. Right. When you go to a potluck, or no, like yeah, you'll run through those deviled eggs. Even when you when you go to a potluck, it's like you leave and there's so much food left on the table, but everyone's stuffed to the brim. How is that possible? I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? Like No, this is awesome because I'm thinking and if so if we if we don't want to take it, you know, just about f- real actual food at an actual thing, you know, is what people have to offer. Yes. And because you that have was something the different transition that yeah. I was going to go into. Okay, yeah. And so it, it's and like why was this able? Cuz God blessed each one of them and they all brought it back. Like, oh, I'm 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 thankful that I had the the money to make this buffalo chicken dip right and i have this buffalo chicken dip but i want to share it and then in in sharing it you end up getting turkey and corn and and canned yams and all of these delicious things and you just had a glorious meal that was over overflowed anything you 
could have imagined from just right. being appreciative of the right. ability to make deviled eggs. And everyone's appreciated. So, because like, even if you had everything, but someone didn't bring cranberries, you would be like, oh, I wish somebody brought the cranberries, you know? So it's sort of like there is value in everyone being together, but there's also each contribution was valuable. Yeah. And, and that's like, uh, you bless his people. Like, each person was, was blessed. And, and I, so now just to compare it, like you're saying, is I think this can be seen in everything. It's, there's this idea that we have this relationship with the Lord and, we're blessed all the time. Like, right. So everyone has gifts. You might be blessed with your whatever. I mean, you fill in, fill in the blank. But when you all come to God or just love mm-hmm. and you come together and you're able to share that, then you it's like overflowing. You have everything. Right. It's, it's the opposite of selfishness. But it also we're, like, when, a lot of times I think when you think of selflessness, you mm-hmm. think it's working out for the person. Right. You think of a selfish, selfish businessman. You're like, well, he's the richest. Right. And then the selfless um, business person, well, you know, he, he's poor, but he he's away. happy. Yeah. He's, he's with everyone. I think this goes to the idea of how can you be selfless, but then also in abundance? And you see that at a potluck. You see, I made my favorite dish and I'm going to share it. I go home more full than if I ate that entire dish myself. Right. And I think that happens in everything, especially when it comes to love and God. It's that idea of, I have what I have. How can I have more while giving my gift away? That's interesting. I just drove through a part of Philadelphia and I saw this big um, this big uh, Muslim sign, big billboard. And uh, it had a lot of words on it, but I was trying to make sense of the bottom piece that said, think big and don't die poor. And I, I was thinking, I was saying um, to Avalon, like, I don't get it. Like, what does that mean? And she's like, I don't think it means money. But now that you're talking, I'm thinking back to the billboard that I just saw a couple hours ago. And it's making sense to me because, you know, to to pr- protect your eggs, your deviled eggs and say, well, I only have eight and like, yeah. there's eight of us. And, you know, if but if you think big and then you join in with other people and you and yeah. you um, exchange. And if it's not food, if, if it's ideas, mm-hmm. you know, people are very stingy, but they're yeah. even with their, their tips or their, you know, thoughts or their, the way they do their business or something. I don't want to, you know, share that. What if they take my business? Um, yeah. And I, I kind of really like it. Cause like I said, I feel like a lot of times people feel like um, you have to choose one. I have to choose being a selfless Christian mm-hmm. or, living in abundance but in a way i I read this this litter literature of a person don't take this for face value because i don't think this is how heaven or hell is at all but it's just this idea kind of where hell hell heaven and hell hell are both a dinner feast okay or but your arm everyone's arms are stuck like this okay you can't move them like my how my how my legs are right like a Barbie? Hell is everyone is eating, trying to oh. drop their food okay. in, the, in their mouth. And how, how hard I wish you that could be? animate because this would be awesome. How hard would that be? Yeah. Where heaven is everyone is helping each Feeding other. Feeding each other. Oh my gosh, I like this. Who and, can animate this for us? Who can animate for the And it's that, I, that idea of you're not looking out for yourself, but in doing that, who do you think is eating more? Right. In, in these scenarios. It's the people in heaven. It's just you're not the one doing it yourself. Like, right. And it's the same idea of selfless, selfishly, selflessly living in abundance. And how right. do you do that? You do that by, especially through God, you know, God is love and stuff. And where there is this, all these, these potlucks and, and these, these ideas, it all comes from this communal love of, right. You're not there counting deviled eggs. You're not saying, okay, well, if I give you a deviled egg, right. then I need to get um, two chicken wings there. I right. need, if I give you a deviled, it's not this. It's put it all put it all there. Don't even look. And it always works out. I've, right. ne- I've never been to a, to a potluck where I haven't left full. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, and how, the, how and this is true, some, at potlucks, some people do make a full turkey. Some people do make a salad. It's all about what you right. are able to contribute. Like I said, if, if you were missing, 
you know, the roles or whatever, yeah. you would miss the roles. So everybody is important to, and, and, yeah. And, and, and it's like, as long as everyone's doing it with love, it goes to that the, the woman with her last coin. It's that one person's salad is as important as right. that one person's turkey, whether like financially or time or right. what. They're, or even if, if you didn't, like say you had no food to bring, but somebody who had a bunch of lambs yeah. had no transportation and it's like well i could bring my cart and horse and yeah. and i will bring you know so and, it's, and, it's and like even, even cooperation someone, yeah, i mean you know families work some, someone could have nothing and it's like as long as they are with if everyone is there with love in their hearts yeah and they're there for nobody is looking at anybody they didn't give enough and so just to bring it back to the actual scripture we can like read it since the people began to bring their contributions to the temple of the lord we have had enough to eat and plenty to spare because the Lord has blessed his people and this great amount is left over. So it just, it's like, it's. Yeah. And it's repeating twice enough to spare. And then we go a few words down, plenty left over. Yeah. Um, so it's really underlining that because it, it is a blessing just to have enough to eat or, or have an clothes that are warm or ha- a house that's sheltered. But it's, it's the, it's the aspect of, and then some. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, it's just like where 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 there's love, there's always abundance, and I, I think that's just the the takeaway from this. But yeah, all in all, I like it, and um, it kind of, it kind of just you see it here and there in the Bible, and you see it in the real life of this um, this sort of um, what's oxymoron or what's this like? Oh, I uh, it's I know what you're saying anomaly. No, no, well, you know what I'm saying. Where yeah. it's like. It shouldn't work. It's like, right. how can I give away and get more? Right. It's you. You. You see it just in a very sense of it's coming out of thin air, mm-hmm. of, and you'll be blessed ten times over if you give this away. But there's a very real world. You see this happening. Right. And and I mean, I think today's if this was a one word Wednesday, it would be potluck. Mm-hmm. All right. Like it's just this idea of it doesn't really make sense when you try to think about it. Right. When you try to think. How can I make one salad and get an entire Thanksgiving yeah, dinner? Right, right. But when when you don't think about it like that, when you think about every, we're all contributing, they're all contributing to the temple of the Lord. You're all contributing to a house full of love. Right. It's it's all the same, and you don't think about the analytics. It's mm-hmm. when, when you when you think about it with love, and I'm all I'm thinking about is contributing. Right. And whatever comes, I'm not expecting anything. I just want to contribute. Everyone's on the same page. You end up with abundance. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. But that is our podcast, our potluck podcast. Um, thank you for coming. Go out and and selflessly be abundant. <laughs> we'll be back. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Doctor's Day Friday, maybe. Tomorrow is also. Um, is it a holiday? It's eleven eleven. It's is Veterans it? Day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, we'll be looking forward to that podcast. Um, until next time, peace. Bye. I guess I'll get up. Oh, okay. He's injured. The proof of the injury for the workman's comp. Um.